to explain about the three basic designs of the engine which are classified according to the position of the cam so agar aap is video ko hindi mein dekhna chahte ho to main agle agle thursday ko is video ko hindi mein hi publish karunga aap tab bhi is video ko dekh sakte hain if you are comfortable in english let's continue about our topic the three basic design of the engines are ohv ssc and dsc ohv signifies overhead wall ssc signifies the single overhead cam dsc signifies that the dual overhead cam so first of all ohv ohv signifies overhead cam so there will be a single wall over the head of the cylinder and which will be actuated by a push rod cam uh, the cam will rotate and with uh, due to the cam profile it will push the push rod uh from this uh, line i am trying to show you the push rod so when the cam rotates it uh, pushes the push rod and then the force the force applied on the push rod will be will travel through this and uh, will will exert a force on the rocker arm the force on the rocker arm uh, at this end will be in this direction due to which the since this is the cantilever tire assembly and this is the pivot point the dot is a pivot point and uh, since the force in the, is in the direction so at this end the force will be in the opposite direction and it will actuate the valve in the downward direction due to which the valve opens and the exhaust or intake may takes place so in this ohp there uh, there are few advantages and disadvantages are this is a low cost in, uh, this is a low cost design because there is no such complex component is required it is compact and durable durable it is assumed because most of the old engines are using it and they are still working so this shows it is a durable so but the there are two disadvantages that are major disadvantages are that difficult to precisely control the wall timing at higher rpm you can see over here that the components are so much so there are so many components because uh, the crankshaft will be connected to the camshaft by gear so when the crankshaft rotates the gear will rotate and then the camshaft rotates there is a push rod then the push rod is also heavy and rocker arm and, and valve so there are lot more lot of components so as a, as well as the compre, components increases the inertia due to these components also increases as the inertia increases then there will be a difficulty to control these components at higher rpms because at higher rpm the inertia will be much higher and due to which there there will be a difficulty in controlling these components and therefore this is a low uh, this these types of designs are having low maximum rpm because, because at higher rpm it will be difficult to control them so shc over here is a single overhead cam there will be a single cam on the head of the cylinder and the single cam uh, the single cam will be rotating and actuating the both inlet and exhaust valves so when uh, this cam is uh, connected to the connecting rod which will be uh, over here somewhere over here and uh, this is connected by a belt drive when the cam when the crank rotates the cam will rotate and due to the cam profile it will actuate the inlet valve first and uh, when the all the and when both the two stroke will uh, will perform and uh, the crank the camshaft will rotate from this point to the this point so in the four in the two complete rotation of the crankshaft the camshaft will rotate once so when the camshaft will be at this position the exhaust valve will be about to take place and when crankshaft when the camshaft when the cam profile come in contact with this rocker arm it will actuate the exhaust valve and the exhaust gases will be uh, will exit so it can work at higher rpm because the components are much less because uh, the main part uh, that is creating a huge amount of uh, inertia is the push rod and it is it has been eliminated over here so in this way it is, it it reduces the components and hence it can work at the higher rpm so this is a major advantage according to this ohv and shv shc so it is possible to uh, install three or four volts per cylinder yes it is possible over here because uh, uh, in this line you can uh, add add some more volts so it can easily install three or four volts in a cylinder it requires a timing belt because the cam and the crankshaft are far far distance from each other so we we cannot connect them through a gear so gear is not used so instead of gear we can use the cam cam driver chain drive or oh sorry chain driver belt drive 
and it is high cost because more more uh, belt is used and some uh, pulleys are used that's why the uh, the cost increases the design is much complex because belt drive is using and the maintenance cost is much higher because belt belt drive has to be replaced after uh, some period of time because of the uh, because the belt get rubbed rubbed and uh, the belt uh, is of no use after some time that's why it, it need to be replaced after a regular period of time so that's why it increases the maintenance cost of the uh, this type of design now there comes a dual overhead cam in this there will be separate over it uh, separate cam for the inlet valve and separate cam for the exhaust valves so all the in inlet valves will be open through this cam and all the exhaust valves will, will be are opening through this cam so uh, there is a main advantage of this that you can change the timing of the inlet valve only and uh, you can uh, disturb or you can change so you can make some changes in the exhaust timing but uh, in this SIC you cannot do this, do this because the single cam is uh, rotating and actuating both the walls because if you want to change the timing of the inlet valve and you change the uh, profile of the cam then this cam profile will be actuating since this, ca this cam profile will be actuating both the inlet and exhaust valve the change in timing in the inlet valve will also change the timing of the exhaust valve so you cannot separately change the timing of a single valve as you can do in the DOHC you can change the timing of the inlet valve in accordance with the uh, exhaust valve so this is a major advantage of this now one cam of the inlet valve and uh, uh, this I uh, explained this point one cam for the inlet valve and another cam for the exhaust valve DOHC can breathe better yes because you can change the timing of the inlet valve if you instant goes down it can easily uh, can introduce more air fuel mixture in, inside of the cylinder and then it can breathe much better now it produces more power from same volume yes because uh, as the timing of the inlet valve increases it can introduce more air fuel mixture and uh, hence when the more air fuel mixture will burn it will produce more power so in this way it, it more power from the same cylinder it includes more complex design yeah the design is much more complex because there are two cams the if you see a head open head then you can see there it is a complex design the two cams all the walls springs and all so the complex is the design is so much complex additional timing belt is really required because for uh, having the different timing you need to change the timing of the belt from the crankshaft, crankshaft so you may need additional timing belt over here so engines uh, according to the classification uh, classified according to the position of the camshaft if you have still any queries you can ask me in the comment section below if you have any suggestion please suggest me in the comment section and if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe it as soon as possible and if you like this video please share it to your friends so that i can connect to them also and thanks a lot keep watching keep sharing and keep supporting guys thanks a lot